Let me move the screen over here. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to continue our adventure. Um, but first, I wanted to do a few uh, housekeeping things uh, before we get started. Uh, one thing is I added some new overlays or things on the screen that you should be able to see. Uh, one is... One is the... Uh, raid... The, the stream boss, not the raid boss, stream boss in the bottom right corner. Um, you can do damage to the boss by uh, subscribing, following, doing bits, spending channel points, I believe. So any kind of activity whatsoever with the stream will lower uh, the boss HP. And if you're the one who uh, kills the boss, I believe, you take over as a new boss. Um, so fun kind of mini game we can play. Uh, in the corner. Uh, and also there should be a stream legends overlay on the right hand side uh, where just watching the stream you can play kind of an idle clicker game kind of game level up your character gain rewards and we can spend that re those rewards together to build a kind of a guild of adventurers and, and buy buildings and more equipment and things like that. So just a fun thing you can do while you're watching the stream is you can kind of play a little mini game and uh, help the channel group grow. I believe there's also a box for it underneath the stream in down by the panels. So you can check it out there. But that should be good. So let's jump right into it. Besides that, how are you all doing today? I recognize a few names. So, nice to see you all. So, let us jump in. So, last time, we were uh, trying to rediscover the secret to Tano Steel. Uh, so, before our ancestors came to the Ironlands, we lived south in a more hospitable place, and one of the kind of triumphs of our civilization was Tano Steel, named after the god of Earth. Uh, so our analog we're, we're kind of using is Damascus Steel. So an extra strong kind of iron uh, or steel used in weapon forging. But we got invaded, destroyed, a few of us fled north to this very inhospitable place called the Ironlands. Um, and we're trying to rediscover that technology in hopes of improving our situation. Um, we spent most of the last part of the stream um, chasing down the bits of the recipe. And we had to do some basically mini quests in order to appease the people who had parts of it. Uh, and uh, we did all that. But now... We have to gather all the resources, but we have to go get the special ingredients besides just iron that we need to forge our deal. And so we have a... Uh, what, do, what am I thinking about? We have sort of like a... It would be a difficult challenge. I think we already decided that one of the uh, things that's going to happen is that uh, there's going to be some kind of beast guarding one of the ingredients. Um, so maybe we should start by defining what those ingredients are. So we definitely need something like undertake a journey for the resources. So what are we looking for? What exactly are we looking for in our resources? Well, we have... We need iron, which we probably already have a, enough of. We need to come up with some special kind of ingredients that we can add. Let me start by just digging into, like, what is actual steel made of? Uh, I know it's like... It's a reduced... Carbon... Amount in iron. Is that, how, is that right? 
It's iron and carbon and sometimes other elements such as chromium. Uh, it's often used and blah blah blah. I'm just reading, looking through the Wikipedia here. They have to reduce. Iron. Depending on other elements. Okay, so they have other elements that they include, such as magnesium, chromium, nickel, or tungsten. Uh, cast iron does not undergo any eutectic ute reaction. Too little carbon leaves iron, leaves pure iron quite soft. That's right. So we need to reduce the number, the amount of iron in the. That's probably something we have to do after in our forging. Is we have to reduce carbon amount and add more. Add like some, a few ingredients, other elements. So that's something we can think about. So some actual iron that's used is magnesium, chromium, nickel, or tungsten can be added to it. Uh, we can also look at maybe we can search Damascus steel. Damascus steel. And see what else we've got. Hey, Zach Attack and Fried Rice Paradise. Nice to see you guys, Josh. Iron Swarm. Ooh, an Elder Scroll Online ad. Very nice. At least it's sort of relevant, I guess. How are you both doing today? We are trying to figure out what we need to find in order to forge our steel. Because we know that steel is reduced carbon in iron, plus something extra, usually. I'm looking up Damascus steel here to see exactly what we may need to find. Do we have the recipe? Any history? Loss of the technique. Oh. Okay. Reproductions. But maybe we don't actually know what was in it. Conducted on the steel under reproduced steel of wood steel. Is imported from India. Arabs introduced wood steel to Damascus, where it was made into a sword. What is wood steel? Wood steel is a crucible steel characterized by a pattern of bands and high carbon content. Okay, tempered with a tempered Martin Martin's Martinite. Or perlite matrix and a high carbon steel. Hmm, I see. It's really different. It's like magnite. I have to look. I'm gonna brush up on my elements here to get part of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow too, Josh. But waking up is going to be interesting. I think we have to not only wake up, we have to be fresh in our minds. Ready to go. So, for those, I think Zach knows, but yeah, me and Fire Rest Paradise, uh, Rahoric 2, and Clark Hart, a few other streamers are going to be doing a one-shot tomorrow, and every week in, every Tuesday, my time anyways, in, uh, in June, uh, so the first one, the Clark Hart is DMing it for us. It's called, it is the Legends of Rock, I believe, one shot. And we're going to be level 8 characters. Um, you can check out the Discord for the poster. Um, it will be tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Japan Standard Time. Or I think 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the US, those of you who are up there. So yeah, I'm excited about that. I need to brush up on my character tonight before I go to bed, so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but. Josh, I saw that you streamed a D&D &D game yesterday. How did that go? Wasn't able to catch it, but I did see that you were streaming it. So, let's see, um, back to my steel here. 
I guess they don't really know too much about it. Other than it's high carbon, which means they actually reduce it less than probably modern steel. Which makes sense, because it is hard. Oh, according to samples provided and brief analysis of the steel shows carbon, sulfur, silicon, arsenic, which are just kind of found, and probably a record amount of, small amount of aluminum. Interesting. It's okay. So it looks like it's a pretty pure steel. There's not much added to it, which makes sense because it's kind of a more... It's, I mean, it's a very old kind of steel. I don't know, when was the first time we have a record of the steel being even produced? It said it almost stopped being produced almost as early as the 19, uh, 1700s, so definitely pretty old. So, but... Disappeared for a while, suddenly started raining heavily. So the weather impacts your internet? That's gotta be loads of fun. Loads of fun. Okay, um, so let's say, let's go back to our regular steel. And let's, let's put it to chat. Let's have you guys do a, I love get, getting you guys involved. So let's do a poll. What is new pole? What is the special element to steel in our world? What is the special element? Is it uh give you a couple choices here. I shouldn't give you too many just to make it somewhat simple. Uh is it chromium? I like the sound of that. Makes it would make it a little bit shiny, maybe. I mean, it's trace amounts, I doubt it. Tungsten is pretty cool because that's what it's used in, like, um... I believe tungsten is what's used in armor-piercing rounds now, if I'm not mistaken. So, like, it adds quite a bit of strength to it if you manage to put it in there. Um, nickel might be easy to find... Let's go with magnesium because that could be interesting because magnesium can ignite. Magnesium um, powder is what basically flashbang grenades are made of. So that is your three choices, chromium, tungsten, or magnesium. Add a bit of flair to our, our, our steel. So you can vote and you can also use channel points to up your number of votes if you like or bits whatever your choice three or four choices are good for a poll perfect i did three i voted very nice voted for what i thought was a good answer but how are you doing, Zack Attack? Hope you'll be joining us tomorrow morning for our one shot. I know it's pretty early our time, but hopefully we'll see you there. Doing good. Great. Great to hear. Hmm, so we need to take a journey, find the resources we need to... I want Splody. I don't know what that is. It's super early. I know, even for for Josh, it's even more early. But I think it'll be good though, because I don't know about you, Josh, but I don't really stream too much on America Friendly Times. So this stream will be very friendly to uh, to those time zones. So hopefully we can maybe catch some more people and introduce our streams to some new folks. We can have new people join us. 
So I'm looking forward to that. It's a different time than when I normally stream, so I'm ex I'm excited. But also dreading waking up. Oh, magnesium looks like it has one. Zach attack contributed a bit of points. Can I see the full results? There we go. Tungsten had two votes. Nobody was up for chromium, but magnesium sounded pretty cool to some people. So we'll go with that. Yeah, it will be on YouTube. I'm sure one or all of us will put it on YouTube. Um, you definitely have a chance to uh, check that out. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to add magnesium. We have to search for mag... Mang... Was that manganese? That's I wrote manganese, not magnesium. And add... Did I just... Did I just... Yeah, manganese. I just read it wrong because magnesium and manganese are very close. It is a particular alloy used in stainless steel. Very common. Named after the region in Greece. Which also gave its name to magnesium and manganite. Okay, so that's why I think I have a right to be a little bit confused about that for a second because they do come from the same region it looks like. Yep, it's an excuse to try a different time. I have yet to explore different time zones. Yeah. Ideally, what I should do is I should stream in the morning before I go to work. Um, because I start work at like noon, one o'clock. So I, I can do that. And it's probably better. But for life-wise, it's a lot better for me to stream on my days off in the afternoon, early evening. But... Only people like Rohoric, who are up all hours of the night from the U.S. end up popping in. Rohoric, if you're here. Hope your sleep schedule is going decent. Okay, so we figured out we need some manganese. And we are going to go on an adventure. So, let's start with the rolling. Let's get let's get our rolling going. So where is my character? That's my character picture. Where is my character sheet? There's my progress tracker. Um, this is probably a another dangerous mission. We're not wandering too far from home, anyways. Unless we want to, unless something goes wrong. There's our character sheet. Okay. So, I think our first thing is we undertake a journey. Let's see here. Undertake a journey. I remember what I need to do for this. Uh, when you travel, a hazardous unfamiliar lands, set the rank. We need two progress points for a waypoint. Any bonus for sharing a bond? We don't share any bond really with this. Oh, you're having internet problems? Hope it doesn't do that tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't. How does your internet get affected by rain? Is it like the the Wi-Fi stuff or... Because like electricity, storm in the air would make sense, but... Is rain equals more people stay home equals more people use internet? Means your internet just gets worse? Is that what it is? I've never heard of the weather affecting the internet like that. Okay, so we don't get any bonuses. Then, for each spin of journey, roll wits. If you're setting off for a, com a community, we're not. On a strong hit, we reach a waypoint. Weak hit, we reach waypoint, but we suffer one supply. We miss, we have to pay the price. Okay. We have two wits, so it's not bad. And basically, we have to go until we have enough points that we think we can reach our destination without a problem. Just on your side, I believe. Yeah, I think I am streaming at 1080 again because I forgot to change my settings after I recorded YouTube videos at 1080. And I usually try to stream at 720 or lower because I know people with internet have a hard time and 
Twitch doesn't always let you set the quality of the stream, which sucks, but what can you do? So. Okay, so let's undertake a journey. First step, roll. That's not very good. Oh, a strong hit. We get plus two. Just enough to beat the four. Ah, good rolls, good rolls. Okay. Ah, uh, interferes with Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Zack attack. Okay, so we got a strong hit. I believe that means all we do is we reach our goal. So we reach a waypoint, and because we're on a dangerous journey, we get two progress. So one, two, two progress. Okay. So, well, uh, what's our first waypoint? We start our journey. Uh, we don't really need to search too hard for iron, I think. But this, in particular, is our journey looking for um, manganese. Uh, we kind of know what it looks like. Um, but it can be hard to find. Um, we know there might be some. Let's get our map out, actually. There we go. Where could there be some? Are we going to go in the forest or the flooded lands? That might be a good thing to do. What do you guys think, Josh, Zach? Is our manganese in the flooded lands? Are we going east or are we going west? Are we going into the deep woods or are we going into the flooded lands? What do you think? We already, we already sort of didn't venture into deep woods, deep wilds, sorry. Um, where is manganese found besides Greece? Uh, produced element. First able to be isolated in 1774. It has a silverly metallic appearance. Where is it traditionally found? Occurrence and production. It's found in pyrocyte, which is a magnesium oxide blend. Majority of it is found in places like South Africa, Australia, China, India, the Ural Mountain area, Kazakhstan, some in Brazil. Okay. I wonder kind of like what kind of climate though? It's just it's just deep in the mountains pretty much or let's see. Says there's probably lots of it in the ocean. But maybe watery places make sense. But what is manganese? Manganese is an element in the periodic table. Oh, it would be eaten away by seawater and the the just erosion and stuff. It wouldn't last very long there. That makes sense. Yeah, manganese. What was it? An element. Manganese. Manganese is atomic number twenty-five on the element. It is a metal. Often found in oxide form in combination with iron. Ah, so maybe we don't know it's manganese. What we're looking for is a special kind of iron that already has some manganese with it. Ah, I like that. We're looking for a special kind of iron. I like that because we don't know the chemistry behind it right now. We know that this iron compound that looks a little different is what we need for the steel. I like that better. I like that better. Not looking for the rare iron. We need a name for this iron. 
Maybe it's maybe it's called Tano Iron. It's the iron that's used to make Tano steel. So we named the the steel that's produced, and then they say, well, it's all oh, the special iron. Oh, it's Tano Iron or something like that. I don't think we need a whole ne nether name for it, really. I think we can go with that. Unless, Josh or Zach, you've got a good name for a kind of iron. But I think, I think just Tano Iron. For the rare Tano Iron, it, it lies deep in the deep wilds. Funny enough, um, and few are able to find it to recognize. Recognize, let alone find it. Let alone find it. Okay. We're looking for the special iron. We're not quite sure. We have some like ideas, some written descriptions. We have written descriptions of it from long ago, and we know it has been spotted in the Iron Lands, and we're hoping we can find it. Uh, we are hoping we can find it in our area. You like Tano Iron. I like it too. Tano Steel just sounds really cool, so Tano, Tano Iron makes linguistic sense anyways. Related name. In our area, okay. So, we, uh, on the first day, first day is our first waypoint, we travel deep into the wilds, in search of the iron, of the Tano iron, Tano iron, not just any iron. Um, and uh, nothing go, nothing happens. Just traveling, looking around, but nothing happens. But we don't find anything either. We're still looking, still looking. Um, we should focus around rocky outcrops and caves. Uh, there is a high chance of iron being there. So we already know, like, where to look for iron in general. And so I think his first mindset is find the iron and then see if in amongst the iron, there's Tano iron. Um, so he's kind of applying his already known skill and hoping that he'll get lucky and find the special iron along with it. Hopefully. That's our goal anyways. So we'll see about that. Okay, so let's undertake another adventure journey I'm making another day we're gonna go deep into we need to make a tano iron I have a note for tano iron don't I I do tano steel I need a note for tano iron because I will put it on the map special iron found that has manganese in it and is used to oops used to make Tano steel. There we go. So we'll save that. No worries. Hang around. Ryan is making it impossible to watch. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. No worries. Sorry you can't downgrade the the quality to make it easier for you. And it's going to be somewhere on the map over here. Maybe we'll head south. That's where we're looking anyways. 
Okay, so we need to undertake another journey. So let's put our map away and roll again. Ooh. Oh my word, we're rolling so well today. Look at this. We rolled nothing. Our challenge dice hasn't gone above a four. And with our bonus to wit, we're able to beat anything we've been able that's been thrown at us, even though we've been rolling crappy too. Another strong hit. So another day of searching and nothing. Uh, we reach our destination. Uh, when your journey comes in, roll the challenge dice to compare your progress. Momentum is ignored. So we have to compare, so we don't roll a dice against reach your destination. Our dice roll is our plus four, is our plus something, right? So we, a plus four, it's pretty good. Yeah, we just roll a dice first, we roll four versus d10, two d10. So we don't have, we don't have a 50-50 chance yet. We're almost there. So I think we're gonna do another day of searching. Got it. We gotta find that iron. Ooh, a ten on the challenge die. Brutal. Our luck. We still got a weak hit. We can't reduce that second challenge dice because we only have a momentum of five. So. Um. So on a weak hit, we we suffer supply, but we do make progress so we're at six we suffer one supply we're down to two oops come on oh i don't have my numb lock on that's why and we gain one momentum we've been searching for three days and nothing three days and nothing we're hungry we're wet We've been slopping around this forest, avoiding monsters that we think are out there. You know, sleeping under the stars, which isn't bad, but it's not like being at home with our wife and our and our kid and with the fire going, right? So, kind of getting old. Uh, I think a six... I'm gonna push our luck and say we look for one more day. Oh, and a strong hit, thank goodness. Okay, okay, okay. So I think this day, on the fourth day, we find some... We find, like, a cave and a rocky area that is promising. And we start looking for iron. If we finally found a promising spot on our fourth day of walking. And let's see if this place actually has what we need. We're going to reach our destination. Um, if we get a strong hit, we can make another move now and add one. Take one second. Weak hit with something happens. And if we miss, we, be, we become lost, actually. We'll have to deal with that when it comes. Okay, so let's roll, reach your destination. Oh, we rolled a seven. Oh, we had eight, thank God, we, we got it. So seven and two versus an eight, we're safe. That's a strong hit, which we had a pretty good chance. We know what we're doing. We're a pretty badass blacksmith who has a wyvern pet. We know, we know what's up. Um, so we've reached our destination. We can make another move and we add plus one and we take one momentum. So we have seven momentum, which is really good. Um, it is, uh, we find, we find iron ore. Um, and this encourages us to keep looking. Hey, Rohorik, how are you doing? Oh, I love the emote. Woo. UWU. <laughs> That's so great. I can use it, right? 
Where is my Rahoric? What? Is my did my? How come I don't see? Am I not subscribed to you anymore? I thought I was. Did it end? Oh, I bet it ended because it was a gift. I don't see you on my list for some reason. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's a th tier 3 one. Okay. I don't even see your name on my list, though. I must have... It must have expired. Yeah. Yeah, it did. That's what's up. No, I didn't say it did. But... I don't know, maybe that's what's going on, because I can't see it on the emote list. I don't even see the adventure die, though. That's the thing. That sucks. I thought I resub too. That's weird. I don't know why it's not popping up. I see Clark Hearts, but I don't see yours. Oh, Josh, that's what I wanted to tell you. I, I did watch like the first couple minutes of your stream and you had the massive donation of subscribers. That was pretty cool. Like, congrats, man. That was pretty awesome. Unlock in more emotes. So, yeah, I was confused. Yeah, my emotes are on the way. They're still being made. The problem is I'm doing like a whole branding for mine. So I'm not, I didn't just get some emotes. And then I had them delivered like I'm having a whole package done and so it's all going to get delivered at once once which kind of sucks because he is done with half of it or more than half of it and I would like to start using it but um yeah it's all going to come at once so but I have three that are pretty cool I don't know which one I put in my first slot though but maybe just the cheer or the happy one We'll save the fail. If you want to, if you want to laugh at me or make fun of my rolling on stream, you have to pay more. <laughs> that sounds like good incentive to get people to subscribe. Uh, but cool. Yeah, we got to help each other. We need to unlock more emotes. Kind of sucks, but that's how it is. So. But yeah, check out Rohorik's uh, Discord and his. Um, his, uh, uh, this Discord and his stream, so that's what I'm trying to think of. Uh, check out his emotes he's got coming, so. Yeah, not sure which one to put down first. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough one. Tough choices, man. Tough choices in life. <laughs> so. Yeah, sweet. Which one do you click? What are you talking about, Zach? For the... For the emotes? Oh, um... Oh, I put... Oh, it doesn't matter. They're the same link. <laughs> I'm, I'm slowly phasing out Nightbot and just using stream elements. And so I haven't changed overall. And I actually guess I duplicated Rohorik's command twice. Aren't you lucky, Rahoric? So eventually, Nightbot will go away. Um, Stream Elements does have a way to s customize the name of the bot, which I'm still working on. So that's kind of one reason why I'm doing it. Plus, I don't want to have to go to like six different websites. So yeah, check him out. Help him unlock some more emotes. Everyone. Okay, um, so we look at us to courage looking. Uh, we do succeed, so we find... Um, but this is when we face some danger. We're not going to get this stuff for free. Um, but we also, oops, that mouse is always in the way, but we also find signs of a creature living nearby. Oh. Yeah, you want everything to be available, but you need to have to have sub points to unlock. 
Yeah, that's the that's the tricky part. I wish there was a way that we could unlock them besides just getting like sub points, like number of followers or number of views, like concurrent viewers or something like that would be cool, because it is kind of lucky that the only way to do it is to actually get money. Like, I'd like there to be a freer, a free way. It may take longer, or you may need more, but a free option would be nice. Just so it doesn't hurt. Yeah, there's so many achievements they have, exactly, Rohoric, that you could tie some uh, some uh, emotes to that, which would be nice for the, the smaller communities and the people who don't have as much money. So, But I guess you can only use emotes if you're a subscriber anyways. So even if you unlock more, you still have to subscribe to get access to any of them, so. Like, like streaming for X hours, yeah. I got caught in two mines there, what I was talking about. But yeah. Uh, okay, so we need to vote. I'm putting the time in, yeah, exactly. We need to vote on the animal, the beast that we find in the cave. So, I'm going to make a new poll. So what is the beast? What did we find living close? Um, I'm going to my Iron Sworn rulebook, looking for a dangerous... Oops, a dangerous... Uh, opponent. We have a Harrow Spider. That makes sense for a cave. A Leviathan is epic, Mammoth is extreme, Wyvern is extreme, a Basilisk is extreme, we don't- a Formidable might be okay. Oh, here we go, Wolf is dangerous, nah. A Gaunt, what is a Gaunt? Horse-like creature with a lean skeleton- oh, it's like, a, almost like a half-dead- Horse is a unique creature. They maneuver across the rough terrain in the deep wilds. There we go. So this like, like this like ga ghastly looking horse. It's a ghost horse. Yeah, a gaunt. Or we have a boar, marsh rat, no, we're not in the marshes. A boar might make sense too, but a boar is a boar is still dangerous, really. A basilisk sounds really cool too, but they're found in the flooded lands. We're not in the flooded lands. A horror? Is it an undead skeleton? Chimera is extreme. Frostbound is formidable. A mummified rose. We're not cold. We're in a cold place. Yeah, the problem is not too many of these are easy. We could look for a firstborn, like a primordial. A troll is formidable. Ooh, a troll. Of what's a varu? Varu. Humanoid dwell deep in the deep wilds. They features like a fierce and wolf-like broad, basically like a werewolf. Kind of thing. Troll is formidable. What was our gaunt again? Dangerous. Yeah, let's do the troll. So two dangerous creatures, or a, or a formidable troll. That is our. That is our poll. So there we go, the poll is up. Please vote. I think I know what I want to f I think I know what it is. I, so I cast my vote. But don't forget you can use bits and points, stream points, to get additional votes. If you use bits, you can also try to claim the stream boss from whoever has it right now, which is some random person, which is the weirdest thing. They're not even on my follower list. Somehow their name got put in as the as the boss. I don't know why. 
The mechanic isn't flawless yet. So. How are you doing today, 